Charles, I was looking for you. I got some something for you. Hey there, Charles. Hello, Arthur. Got that moonshine for you. Uh, okay, thanks. I'll make some arrows for you later. Sounds good. Arrows? What, you do? what kind of moonshine arrows? What, what? what kind of arrows are you making? All right, what's going on out there in the big world? Let's see. Any missions? We got two missions. Dutch and the Greys. All right, let's just go see what Dutch is up to. We're gonna have to do it eventually. All right, come on, Dusty Bottoms. All right, we gotta go to Rhodes. It's kind of a weird situation in Rhodes right now because uh, we're friends with the deputy and the sheriff. Or is it just the deputy? I can't really remember. But we're friends with somebody, with the law basically, and Dutch has asked us not to use weapons. So weapons are forbidden in Rhodes. And sometimes that's, that makes it difficult for me, you know? Because people would be trying to kill me. I'm so paranoid, man. There's like detectives and special super, super bounty hunters, and then there's like gangs. Everybody's trying to kill us. All right, here we are back in Rhodes. Hey, mister. Well, good morning, sir. See if we can stay out of trouble. Let's just find Dutch and get out of here. All right, let's see what's going on in here. What are you up to, Dutch? Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy, is a hunter. Boy, is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sheriff. Great. How are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. This guy is no, drunk. Sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that? But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Ooh, moonshine, uh, what strong is strong stuff. Still, Dutch has been getting this man seem to drunk. be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. <laughs> oh, he felt I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county its good name. And the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. You stay here, Dusty Bottoms. I'll be back. How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course! Who else would be? So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well few changes in the labor laws. They were slave owners. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. 
but it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. That bed rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes, I thought so too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up. Did my horse follow? You see that wagon? Oh yeah, there's a wagon right there. Could it be a trap? What happened? Dear me, these damn flies! I swear they got it in for me. You could try washing once in a while. Keep your eyes open. Somebody killed this guy. No. This must have happened recently. Hey, come have a look at this. Another body. Look. Suit and tie. One bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. So this is just the driver. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Hmm. That was pretty random. All right, let's keep going. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. Okay. Frederick Mitchell, Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor felt. Need the map? Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Yep. Not the nicest fellers in my experience. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. Go right at the crossroads. A drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people... Hey! Hey, do I need to take the reins back? What happened? But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to them. Don't even look them in the eye. I'm sure I wouldn't. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaites, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Now. All right. Could be dangerous. Let's get the pump and uh, carbine. Never fails. Anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Okay, okay. Round them up and take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. Oh, I see something. See? see? What did I tell you, boys? What did I... Wait. You blew your cover? No, I didn't. Really? They saw me? Now. Anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Ah, uh, there they are. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. How handle this? Well, the way I said... Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? Ah, uh, let's go, let's go right. We'll take the right. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. Okay. Mm, I think I went the wrong way. I told, okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I see one. Get the rider, don't round him up later. Get the other one. Okay, got this guy right here. Sneak up on him, man. Take him down. Alright. Didn't stand a chance. Uh oh. Damn. Someone's coming. Stay out of sight. Oh, Anthony. he almost saw us. Oh, man. Anthony, where you at, boy? This isn't good. God damn. He doesn't see him? Where you at, boy? <laughs> Why doesn't he answer? Anthony! I got this one. Okay, Bill's got this one. 
Don't kill him, Bill. Oh. Whoa. Sure you didn't kill him? Right. Let's gather them up. Okay, I hope Dutch and Archibald didn't have any trouble with their moonshiners. Just drop him with the others. All right. One, two, three, four. All right, good job, boys. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Let's see, where's my dynamite? Oh, there it is. All right, it seems like a good spot as any. Let's light it and run away. Can we arrest them all? That was a close one. Where did these sons of bitches come from? All right, let's arrest this guy right here. All right, boys. We're putting you out of business. Yeah, I got him. Yeah, we got more coming up. Uh oh, uh oh, there's a lot more. We paid good money for that. Oh, I need some cover. I need some cover. I need some cover. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, 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 he's right there. He's right there. Uh, all right, let's go for it. Let's go for it. Got another one. All right, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Get some cover, get some cover, get some cover. Woo! All right, all right, all right. Who else is there? Who else is there? What just exploded? All right, let's get this guy to shoot him, Bill. Shoot him, Bill. Leave him alone. Oh, Bill got him. All right, we'll get this guy. Knock him out. Knock him out. Oh, he's shooting me. Where is he? Stop shooting. You're under arrest. Oh, there's three. Three of them right here. Uh. Holy hell! Oh no, there's a big group of them. Uh. Stop shooting me! Help me, Bill! He's gonna kill me. Oh, I need some cover. I'm out of here. Uh, I need some cover. Oh, I'm hiding in the tree. What just exploded? Leave Bill alone. Leave Bill alone. Stuff keeps exploding. I got this one, Bill. There's one more, I think. Might be one or two more. Okay, here's one. Here's one, here's one, here's one. He's reloading. Got him! Oh, there's some more in the houses. Ah, he's right there. Okay, okay, we got this, we got this. He can't shoot, can't shoot me. Got him! No, oh, he got me! But I got him now. Damn scoundrel! I think we did it. One more, one more. Ah, touchdown. Yes. Oh, last one. I don't see any more. Bill got him. You? No. Let's find Dutch and get out of here. Fine by me. I'm going to loot all these guys. What are you talking about? We, we take the wagon with us, right? What? It's just full of explosives. Why? I got to free these horses, man. You can't, can't blow up these horses. Run away! Run away! Get going! Go on, get! Get! Come on, why aren't you running? Go! Get out of here! Good job! Alright, let's get rid of this wagon. Okay, mission accomplished. Good job, everybody. Hey, Charles. It's party time! I just want a bunch of money. Pierce! Is Karen, get Charles over here. Right here! Anyone who wants Something a drink. Something like that. I always want a drink. Oh, I know. How'd you win? I cheated at cards, my dear, like a proper <laughs> gentleman. <laughs> Come on. Come on, I'm in a good mood. <laughs> Join us. Javier, any one of you. <clears throat> Got something for me? No, of course not. Why would we? Excuse me. <laughs> I'm joking, you oversensitive <laughs> Finian bastard. There you go. Karen, sing us a song. A song? <laughs> Give me a minute. Let me have a drink first. Oh, of course. Of course. <sighs> Good to be alive, my friends. Alive and free. Let me get something to drink, too. I got some pirate rum. Please? You bet your ass we're coming out tonight. Coming out tonight. Coming out tonight. 
Valentine, we're coming out tonight to dance by the light of the moon. Swing right and left and stick it in the middle. Stick it in the middle. Stick it in the middle. Swing right and left and stick it in the middle. Hang on with the girls in the morning. You bet your ass we're coming out tonight. Coming out tonight. Coming out tonight. Who is playing harmonica? Valentine's, we're coming out tonight to dance by the light of the moon. Swing right and left and stick it in the middle. Stick it in the middle. Stick it in the middle, swing right and left and stick it in the middle and go home with the girls in the morning. <laughs> I must be drunk. Is there a ghost around here? Who was playing harmonica? All right, actor. How you doing, Sean? Mr. Morgan, I better drink up before you finish all the booze again. Very funny. I'm only messing with you. <laughs> sure, well, as you were. I'm only messing with you. What's up, Kieran? Miss Jones? It sure would be boring around here without you. You must have had a drink. I'm just trying to be nice. Where's everybody going? What kind of party was that? 